Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, uh, this is the M249. Um, before we touch it, before we uh, disassemble it, uh, the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that the weapon is clear. Um, so how we're gonna do that, um, I normally get the prone, it's a little bit easier to do it. But the first thing that you're gonna do to make the weapon, make sure the weapon is clear, um, is to put it in safe. So the only way to put it in safe, uh, right now it's on fire. Um, we're gonna uh, pull the charging handle back and click to put it in safe. One more time. There we go. All right, now we're in safe. Um, so what we can do now is pull open um, the rear side assembly, um, the feed tray assembly, which um, can be pulled open by these two little levers right here. Um, we don't want to open it facing it with our eyes uh, because if there's any hot brass, any debris, things like that, we're going to want to make sure that it's not going to go in our eyes or in our face. So we're going to turn our head away, can open it up, maybe. All right. All right. So there's a couple things here that you want to look at. Um, it's a five point safety check. So we got a couple things. Um, so the feed tray assembly is up here. That can be moved around. Um, make sure there's nothing going on there. Um, You've got uh, the cocking handle assembly back here. Make sure that there's no brass. Um, where we have uh, ammo come in through here, make sure that there's no brass left in there. Um, you can put the tray back down. Um, so it looks like we're pretty good. We can put it back down. We're gonna put the weapon back into fire by um, putting, uh, keeping the hand, our hand open palm on the charging handle, putting the weapon back into fire by pressing this and you can press the trigger and slowly put the handle back. So now we're good to disassemble. So first thing that we're gonna do, the only way to get into the weapon um, is through the buttstock. So what we're gonna do, I normally tip it over on an area where your muzzle's not gonna go into the ground. Um, there are two pins located here and located here. Um, so we're gonna pull those pins, hopefully without too much trouble. Which sometimes there is. And I normally don't pull them all the way out um, so that I don't lose them. But you can pretty much, a helpful hint is to have a pen on you. There we go. Okay. And this will completely disassemble the buttstock, which you can set down. Um, this will also uh, release your uh, trigger mechanism, which you can also put down. All right, so looking at the weapon now, we've got a couple of things. We have a rod and a spring, um, which just the general point, um, when the handle is cocked back, that spring is completely compressed. So we wanna make sure that um, our handle is not cocked back, which is not, um, and so it's not gonna hurt us when we depress it. Um, next is uh, the barrel assembly, which is all the way down, but we'll get to that later. So um, how we're going to get this rod and spring out is by pressing our thumb down onto it and not in front of our face because it could potentially come back and hit us with the spring. Um, you're gonna press in and up and it should release it. Uh, this comes out into two parts. This is the rod, this is the spring, okay? All right, so next um, we have the barrel assembly down into the weapon. So what we're gonna do an easy way is to pull back the charging handle and it should release everything that's in there. So we got three things here. Um, we have a bolt, we have a slide, and we have a piston. Uh, so this comes apart really easily by pulling out a little pin. The pin can be released to separate the piston from the slide, and that comes off as easy as that. So your piston can be set aside. Next you have the bolt and the slide. That comes off by just twisting the slide, taking it out, done. All right, so those are all of our small moving pieces. Now we can move on to the front. Um, next, we're gonna take off the barrel here. So the barrel can be taken off by pressing down this lever right here. You're gonna press down the lever, push forward and up on the barrel, and it dislodges it. Uh, this is a heat shield right here. Um, we don't have to take that off right now, not super important, but it can be released, um, and that protects you from um, touching it and burning your hand if you were firing it. So next thing's next. Uh, this is the gas cylinder. It's a little tube that runs all the way down um, into the feeding area. And what we're gonna do is by putting pressure on it with our left thumb and twisting it with our right, we should be able to dislodge it with an audible click by pulling up, just like that. And that'll take it out. All that's left is to remove the bipod and you're done. Okay, 
So next important step, uh, you put it back exactly the way that you put it together. Um, so what that's gonna mean, put the bipod right back on. Okay, you got the gas cylinder. This might be a little bit tricky. You need to guide it into the smaller of these two holes by twisting and pressing. And you should hear an audible click when it's set. I've heard that click, I'm good to go. And you can tell that it's set properly when the bipod doesn't move around anymore. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, put the barrel back on. You don't need to press down on anything. It should go on fairly cleanly with a swift push. She's in. Um, and then we can move back on to the piston, the slide, and the bolt. This goes in the same way that it came out. You can push these back together. The slide, nice and easy. Um, that same little pin that you can see here I have opened um, goes on top of the piston and slides right through. So you now have back to a three-piece system here. So this barrel assembly is going to go back into the barrel. Um, the key thing to note here is that the grooves on the outside of the slide match up to the grooves on the inside of the weapon. So you got to be very careful when you're guiding it in. Charging handle forward. Make sure that all of the grooves go into the right place. And this might take a little bit of practice. It's a little bit dark. I just open this up so I can see where I'm feeding it into. And without too much trouble, and if you meet all the grooves, it slides in nice and easy. Push that back down. All right, next we're gonna put the spring and the rod back in. Uh, this slides in just like that, the way you had it. It's gonna feed right into the barrel assembly that you just got it from. So to put it back, there are two little ridges on either side of the spring. You're gonna push in with your thumb and set it the way that you took it out. Super easy. Um, next, we're gonna replace our trigger and our butt stock. So the butt stock and the trigger are placed by these two pins here. So we are reassembled, and now we can complete a functions check. Uh, so I'm gonna get back in the prone. My weapon is still on fire. What we're gonna do is put it into safe. So to put it on a safe, uh, we gotta pull the charging handle back. The weapon is now in safe. I'm gonna press the trigger, to make sure that nothing happens. Nothing's happening, nothing's firing. So safety works. You're gonna put it back into fire. Keep your hand on the charging handle, press the trigger, ride the bolt forward, and you're done your function check. And that's everything. You just reassembled your 249.